Hey there, Amplifiers. Manny Torres here, and I'm excited for another episode of Growth Amplifiers. And today we have with us Brandy Ferguson. She is the owner of Anveritas LLC. Brandy is a certified QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor. And at Anveritas, they can help you review your financial statements, reconciliations, or accounting assistance with your business finances. Brandy has experience with million dollar businesses in multiple industries and can help you with period cleanup catch up on reconciliations, and even business consulting and mentor services. Welcome to the show, Brandy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's good to be here. Likewise, excited to chat with you and learn more about you and your business. Uh, to, to start us off, can you share a little bit more about your business and yourself with our listeners? Sure. So um, I've been working in QuickBooks online for multiple years, last four or five years, but I've worked in many different industries, government, private sector, corporate, and uh, kind of just found my niche in QuickBooks Online providing one-on-one service to uh, individual clients um, that have, that spe- specifically those that uh, I deal mostly with e-commerce clients that, that sell their products online and man- manufacture their products in-house or kind of manage some of that inventory in-house. So when you mention uh, e-commerce clients, uh, obviously that's a growing sector. Brandy, what types of e-commerce are you looking at? So uh, my clients typically sell their products either directly to the stores or through online websites. Um, but they deal with the, the problems, some of the problems they face is dealing with like the online sh- shopping carts, the stores online and how to convert that information into their financials. There's a lot of IT that's needed to, to kind of make that information recognizable. So is that the biggest challenge that you see with those e-commerce clients is getting those uh, merchant transactions brought into QuickBooks so they have an accurate uh, view of what their numbers are and you know, essentially their profitability and their cash flow. Absolutely, because in between the, you know, you'll have your your shop, your shopping cart, which could be Shopify or WooCommerce or or many of the other big portals. But when they are just the platform that the customer buys the product from, it's not how you actually get your money. Um, so then there's PayPal and Afterpay and Shopify and. Um, Stripe that people use to actually convert those sales and collect that money and then and then deposit into their account. And it's that piece that a lot of people have problems understanding how to convert it. They know how much they sold. They can see deposits come in, but a lot of that information in between doesn't get converted correctly because there's fees and cost of goods and things. So if you take directly what comes from um, Stripe or PayPal or whatever, and deposit that and think that's your income, that's not going to be very accurate. I can imagine how confusing that is nowadays, because <laughs> not only is there the challenge with the merchant fees, but there's multiple different types of services that they're taking the payments from, You know, whether mm-hmm. it's Stripe or PayPal and Square. And I can imagine that's really confusing for a business owner. So what types of tips can you provide to those e-commerce business owners that can help them overcome that challenge? Um, some, some pieces that, that I uh, work with my clients on is to automate some of those processes. There are great tools out there um, that help convert that information into QuickBooks. If you have even just a, a basic knowledge of QuickBooks and some general understanding of what kind of information you expect to come through, as far as the income and the cost of goods and where you want it to appear on your financial statements or where it should appear, you're going to have a pretty good idea of how to connect some of those apps, but some of them can get pretty far into the weeds. Like um, I use some apps like um, I use Dex.com for some of my smaller AR clients where it's like if they sell a lot of products to one customer, it's easy just to convert those sales through Dext it does a lot of the automation and reading the invoices and things like that to them. So if they're not 
invoicing directly through QuickBooks, then they can still get all that information in there pretty easily and it's easy to manage. Um, and the other one I use a lot is A2X Accounting. That's another app that really, you have to dive deep into it, but um, it's definitely worth the money. So it's definitely saved me from having to do, um, I used to take, one, one of my clients uh, used to take me about a week to manage their monthly transactions into QuickBooks um, and just to validate it day by day and organize it, make sure everything was actually reconciling in and using A2X accounting to convert that information into QuickBooks has made like a weekly task into a daily task. Hey there, this is Kenny from Growth Amplifiers, here to ensure you get your awesome ideas into action to grow and improve your business and achieve your full potential. Take the first step by visiting growthamplifiers.com and clicking the Start Here button. Take the assessment to get your personalized score. Then select from free resources to learn how to improve your score. Don't wait, be proactive and take action now by visiting growthamplifiers.com and clicking the Start Here button. And always keep on amplifying. Now. Let's get back to the show. That's great. And I'm sure as you get familiar with more of those tools and, and automations, it can really improve the efficiency of how you're dealing with those numbers in your business. Can you share a recent story of someone that you've helped uh, go through some of these challenges and how that's helped transform either the way that they're interacting with their numbers or their business in general? Absolutely. So um, one of my clients is an international client. They actually wholesale their product overseas and in the United States. And um, they were having a really hard time using, they were using multiple um, platforms. So like Shopify and selling directly through like Walmart and Amazon and things like that. So they had multiple areas where their products were selling, but they couldn't consolidate all that information and weed out when they were getting payments. And a lot of problems that they faced was that when you agree to contract with some of those portals, they require your funds to be left on their, their end for like 35 days, or they won't pay it out for a certain period of time minus a fee. So your cash flow becomes a problem. So I have been working with one of my clients to manage some of the options that they're allowing when they contract with wholesale clients, wholesale customers to make sure that they're not overextending their cash flow so that they don't have the money to buy new ingredients to make their product. That makes sense. And I can imagine how tough that would be thinking that you have this money and then going into your bank account and wondering, where is it? And I've heard horror stories of those things happening where the various merchant um, accounts will hold fees or, uh, you know, cancel those accounts. So that can be really problematic for that business owner. Absolutely. Yes. And it can be very critical, especially if you're a startup business where you see this big boom, where some company wants to come in. Uh, like if Walmart carries your product, that's huge. So, you know, if you get something like Walmart or Target or something like that, where they say, Hey, we want to have your product in our store, but we're going to not pay you for 60 days. That's huge, especially if you don't know how to manage that money so that you can continually make your product in a timely manner to be able to get it out there, especially if your product's not something where you can flip a switch and it's done in like 24 hours. I totally see that. And that's really insightful for those e-commerce business owners. Um, if there's a, a person out there who has an e-commerce business or someone else that's looking to have assistance from you and your, your team, what's the best way for them to contact you? Sure. So my email is the best way to contact me or to schedule a meeting um, with me. I normally have like 15, 30 minute increments that are available towards the end of the month where my schedule's opened up and I can actually meet with people and give them some pointers um, or just guide them in the right direction. Um, some of my clients, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one training with their staff to make sure that they understand what they're looking at when they're looking at their financials. Excellent. Well, we'll make sure to link that in the show notes so that people can connect with you, Brandy. We appreciate you coming on the show and sharing your insights. And we hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. You too. 
To show your support, take a moment to amplify this message by sharing it online. To connect with me or gain more business growth insights, visit www.growthamplifiers.com. Thank you for your support.